I picture us rolling in a roach, yeah. Pull the curtains back, go kosher yeah. Make me feel some type of way Got me changing on my play ways, ay, yeah Every time you slide through, go crazy You give me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kathy. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this gorgeous butterfly lock and I added highlight to it. I was inspired by this YouTuber. Her name is Winnie Jean. I loved her look. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try this look. I will leave everything down below, all the products, um, even her information down below. And I hope you guys enjoy it so the first thing that you want to do is start with washed hair i didn't blow dry my hair but if you want to take that step you can do that i'm basically just preparing myself because i know this is going to take forever and it really did it took me like a whole day i don't know why so i'm basically going to be showing you guys what you need and i got eight packs of hair from free Tress and sandra bohemian braid i'm gonna leave everything down below with all the colors and everything so basically what i did i used all like majority of the darker colors so like the 1b and the brownish color in the back and i used the lighter colors in the front so you would need a crochet needle and i got this from the beauty supply store obviously and i am using coconut oil to moisturize my hair because i didn't have any oil and this was my first time using coconut oil on my hair which i actually really liked uh, we always have to moisturize our hair and take care of our hair underneath these weaves and wigs everything like if these stylists are telling you don't um moisturize your hair then they shouldn't be touching your hair in the first place so make sure you're moisturizing your hair and get it ready for the style so i'm basically you know applying the moisturizer and yeah next what i'm doing is sectioning my hair halfway so half on the top and half in the bottom um i don't really know how to pronounce it but yeah you know what i'm doing as you can tell so yeah I'm actually like a perfectionist when it comes to like making sure that my line is straight. I mean, it ain't going to be straight, straight, but I be, you know, be trying to make it get straight. But it doesn't matter if it's not straight or whatever, you know, just try to get like another um, a mirror so that you could kind of fix a few of the parts because, you know, you don't want it too cricket. But then again, you're the one that's doing your hair. It's not like someone is helping you. So it, was, it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is the part that I got so far. Not bad, not bad cat. Okay, girl, get it. So you're gonna wanna section off the top part. Um, you know, just get it out the way. Y'all, excuse me with these ashy behind elbows. Ew. <laughs> so what you wanna do is comb out your hair while I'm combing out my hair, you know, make it soft and stuff from that section that we just combed out you're going to want to part another um, middle part so we're going to have um, a section in the top and another section in the bottom so technically what I'm doing here is measuring out my hair because I do have um you know i wanted at least 50 braids in my entire hair so the braid that i'm braiding now is, is going to fit 10 and then the braid that i'm the section that i'm braiding out now is going to fit 10 so basically that whole half section that we that we're doing in total is going to fit 20 braids i'm not sure if you guys understood so these two braids are going to fit 20 braids in total what I'm doing now is basically braiding out my parts where I want the, you know, the butterfly locks to fall into. And yeah, we're going to just speed that up so you guys can see what I'm doing. I braided in the beginning and then I just twist it towards the end because ain't nobody got time for that. Like, no, uh, -uh. this style already took too long. So we ain't about to sit here and braid these higher hairs
so this is how it's supposed to look um, you're gonna want to repeat the same step for the other section just like this with the front half section you want to do the same thing but with the top I am adding 30 braids instead of 20 so in total everything will be 50 braids finally we are finished so this is how it's supposed to look nice and full 50 braids now I am ready to go to bed Hey guys, so this step is super duper important. So as you can see, my real hair is way longer than the actual um, length that I want with this whole look. So I'm gonna take my crochet needle and I'm gonna stick the crochet, crochet needle in the middle of my hair and then take the ends of my real hair and then pull it through just to make my hair appear shorter so that I could get the same exact length through everything because you know we, we're not trying to cut our hair and then we don't want our dress to be you know way too long so um this is me showing you guys how to do the butterfly locks now i see a lot of people doing the butterfly locks and they doing this looping thing which is pretty or whatever but what i think about it i think it's kind of unnecessary because our locks are going to unravel and kind of de-stress itself on its own so I tried to at least make it neat so that later on literally in like the next day it's gonna already like naturally un like unravel so the reason why I'm saying that is because like I see a lot of people is attempting to do a distressed look so later on the hair is gonna look too messy and stuff like that and i don't think that's cute so i feel like you should start um like whenever you start your hair you should start like really how can i explain it try to start as neat as possible and then later on as days go by your dreads is going to look distressed on its own you know you don't have to force it to make it go a certain way so that's what I feel about the butterfly locks and everything. So yeah. Okay, so what I basically did is I took the free tress um, hair and I cut it. So it gave it gave me like this thicker look or whatever. And then I stuck, you know, what is it? I crocheted the hair through my hair and then I'm wrapping it. And then doing one wrap with the hair is not as full as i want it to be so i went back and did it again on top of it i'm gonna you're gonna see that as well but it's gonna be sped up um but yeah i did it twice so you don't want to just wrap it one time because it's not gonna look cute you have to make you have to wrap the hair twice just so that it can give you that distressed look well not distressed look but it can um give you that low-key butterfly look and then later on it's gonna look exactly how you want it to look without you not forcing it to look a certain way so it's gonna give you that fullness the thickness and everything and this is what i'm like that's what i'm doing right now it's gonna be sped up so i did it twice on the same spot okay guys so this should be a better view so that you guys could understand so i unbraided my hair and i'm basically just doing everything all over just so that you guys could get everything so y'all could get the deets so y'all don't have to be under the comments and be like oh what did you do with it so basically um y'all i am finally finished that's the whole gag like this thing took me over a whole day and i was watching uh 
everybody's video and everybody kept saying it was taking like them three four hours and i'm thinking like this was gonna take me like five hours hell no it didn't take me no five hours i don't know why i take so long doing my hair i don't know but y'all we is done so basically what i'm doing is i'm inserting the feature the free trust hair through the needle and i'm just wrapping it oh and what you want to do you want to wrap the like the root of your hair ex not extremely tight but tight enough so that it won't unravel and so that it could just look neat it could grip your parts and everything so you're gonna you're gonna want to wrap the the grip of your hair like three times and then you bring it all the way down very loose you don't want to wrap it too tight you know how regular full locks is where you're wrapping it tight this one you don't do that you wrap it really loose and spread it out because you want that the de you know you want your dress to unravel not unravel but you want it to look very distressed and that butterfly lock that everybody likes later on i'm telling you like it's gonna unravel like in 4.5 seconds so i'm just wrapping it back up and you don't want to wrap that up tight as well and that was a mistake that i was doing throughout my hair i was wrapping my hair extremely tight like as if it looked like dreads and stuff like that and i didn't i didn't like that at all so this is also a tip oh my gosh y'all i don't know if i created this but if anybody ever do this after i post this video you know they got it from me <laughs> period so i did a lot of mistakes when it came to the length of the hair that i wanted i had different lengths and i did not like it like it was not the look that i wanted so i basically went over and took all the longest pieces and i'm just taking a rubber band and i'm just tying all that up like i don't know if you could as you can see i'm not going to speed this up so you guys could see what i'm doing i, I just fold it and got the same length as every other dread or locks whatever you want to call it and y'all i love this method because it gives me that bulky and that thickness in the bottom and i love that look like i love it and i i didn't only do it with the longest pieces i also did it with like the ends that were too skinny so y'all finna see y'all finna see the end result so i'm basically doing my edges and i'm just putting any like mousse or foam and stuff like that because your girl is tired and we're finally done we're gonna wrap our hair we're gonna pin our hair and everything we're gonna do what we need to do and go to bed and i will be back in the morning to show you guys the full look the full glam with my makeup everything did period so y'all can see everything how it looks and guys i love my hair okay y'all it's time for me to go to bed thank you god bye see you guys tomorrow so this is the final look i know i know i know i look gorgeous right <laughs> but don't forget to like and comment something nice down below and don't forget to join my family by subscribing and also hitting the bell notification button so that you guys are notified whenever i drop another video but without further ado i'm out bye guys